It could be a breakthrough for dismantling the crippled nuclear plant in Fukushima. Tokyo Electric Power Company says that by using an X-ray-like device, researchers have discovered a mass of molten fuel at the bottom of a reactor. This is inside the number two reactor. Researchers with the utility company believe the dark shape is molten fuel mixed with building material. They think the debris weighs about 160 tons. Three reactors melted down after the earthquake and tsunami five years ago. Researchers believe fuel melted through the bottom of the core at the number one reactor. But until now, they didn't have a clear picture of what it was like inside the two other reactors. So they tried a device that uses elementary particles called muons, which can penetrate dense structures. The utility plans to continue the investigation with a robotic camera later this year, and they're hoping that by next summer, they'll work out ways to remove the debris. A new governor in southwestern Japan says he plans to request an operations halt at a nuclear plant in his prefecture. The facility is the only one operating in the country. Satoshi Mitazono took office as governor of Kagoshima on Thursday. The plant issue was one of his major campaign pledges. Residents are worried about the plant's safety following the major quakes in neighboring Kumamoto prefecture. I insisted on halting it for a thorough inspection. He said he'll lodge a request with the operator Kyushu Electric Power Company possibly in late August or early September. But the two reactors at the plant are already scheduled to be offline. The utility is planning regular inspections starting in Tokyo October. Tokyo Electric says it plans to seek financial support from the government to meet the ballooning costs of decommissioning the crippled plant. Scrapping the reactors involves operations that no one has ever undertaken before. It could have a huge impact on our company's management. As we proceed, we'd like to cooperate even more closely with the government and related organizations. Engineers continue to struggle to reduce the amount of groundwater being contaminated with radioactive substances. They're trying to freeze soil around reactor buildings to keep groundwater from entering, but the process is not working as expected. Removing molten fuel from the reactors is also a major challenge. Some government officials estimate that the total cost of decommissioning related work could surpass $95 billion. TEPCO estimates at least $73 billion will be needed to compensate the disaster victims and clean up areas affected by radioactive fallout from the 2011 accident. Official shops selling products designed for the 2020 Tokyo Olympic and Paralympic Games will open on Friday. A media preview took place at a store in Tokyo's posh Ginza district. About 100 items line the shelves. They include polo shirts and towels that bear the indigo checked emblem of the 2020 Games. The emblems were selected earlier this year after the original design was scrapped amid allegations of plagiarism. Pins and t-shirts that are already sold out on online stores will be available at the official outlets. Shoppers can also buy caps and other goods to support the Japanese team at the Rio Games. The items carry the slogan, Go for it Japan, with characters taken from popular comics and animation. Although the Tokyo Games are still to come, people can buy the official products. I hope the goods get them excited about the 2020 Games. The shops will be open through September 19th. Japanese electronics maker Hitachi has just made getting around stores and public facilities a little easier. It's unveiled a talking robot that will assist people autonomously. The robot measures 90 centimeters tall. It's capable of identifying people in need of help by using data from its online surveillance camera. Um, where is the tourist information? Do you mean visitor center? Yes. I'm looking for a Japanese souvenir. Wow. The robot will be able to identify anyone who looks lost and show them the way. If a person asks a question in English, the machine immediately switches from Japanese to English. Hitachi hopes to put the robot to use during the 2020 Olympics and Paralympics in Tokyo.